the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. My man Chad, you ready to do this today? Smartest kid in school, right? Amira and Gianni, good to see you guys. Teachers! These three have been rocking. The crowd is rocking. Today, I have three bright-minded students going against everyone that taught them everything they know. They're from Kramer Hill Upper Elementary, Mastery Schools of Camden in Camden County, New Jersey, and they are officially in the classroom. The show where students are going head-to-head -head with their favorite all-time teachers. Look, I am telling you, we see a lot of schools roll in and roll out of this studio. The level of excitement coming out of this crew out there. It's electric, and it's winner take all. The cash and bragging rights, five hundred dollars, is on the line. Before we meet our contestants, I'm calling it right now. We're going for a pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and thirty seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth ten points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Okay. Pop quiz, you guys know the drill. Whether you're ready or not, we're gonna start right now. Chad, you're gonna wanna put the buzzer in the hand though. There it is, okay. <laughs> He's ready now. What is the name of the temple dedicated to the Greek goddess Athena that dominates the hill of the Acropolis at Athens? Mr. Newell. Parthenon. Parthenon is right. Yeah. Singles and doubles are two different types of matches in what sport that involves a fuzzy yellow ball? Mr. N. Tennis. Tennis is right. What is the fraction, sixth ace, in its simplest form? Three-fourths. Three-fourths is right. Extra credit question, this sound right here. That means double. Here we go. What Disney animated show follows Star Butterfly, an intergalactic warrior from the kingdom of Muni? Chad. Star versus Force of Evil. That's right, Chad. Nicely done. I can get you back up to 20 points, 10 points for the tie here. What country controls the Suez Canal, which directly links the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea? The answer there, guys, is Egypt. The controls there. In Shel Silverstein's The Giving Tree, what fruit did the tree give the little boy at the beginning of the book? Chad. Apple. Apple is right, Chad. Nicely done. Natural disaster survival, jailbreak, and hide and seek extreme are all games within what popular gaming platform? Amir. Roblox. Roblox is right. What? what kind of process takes place when fertile lands, where crops can grow, are turned into desert areas because of deforestation, droughts, or climate change? Oh. One second. No. Decertification is what I was looking for there, and that is it for Pop Quiz. <laughs> Teachers struck early. Students came roaring back in the second half there. Hold the 10-point lead off that Pop Quiz. Now, today... Besides a raucous crowd, it's the students and teachers from Kramer Hill Upper Elementary in Camden, New Jersey, home of the Cheetahs. That school looks awesome. What do you say we meet some of these kids? Hey, my name is Gianni, and even when I'm wrong, I'm always right. I am Amira, and I'm bad at math, but I'm still good at it. I'm Chad. I'm in eighth grade. I came here to win. Hi, I'm Justin New. I teach eighth grade English and language arts. I love my students. I love being their teacher. I'm going to love teaching this lesson today. Hi, I'm Melissa Love. I teach eighth grade math. Um, I'm representing House Chara, and I'm a weightlifter on the side. Hi, I'm Dorora Wilson. I am representing House Intimals. I teach eighth grade science, and always Team Wilson forever. <laughs> I love all six players on this team today. They've got the great teachers, the great students. We got everyone's smiling right now. Let's make some enemies here. I gotta send some kids to detention. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay, I'm going to start with the trailing team, so we move to the teachers. Here we go, guys. I'm going to give you your category. You pass or play on animals. Let's take that. We'll take it. We're going to take it. Here you go. A snake. 
has nostrils like humans and can use them to smell, but also relies on what other part of its body to investigate smells? Tongue. The tongue is right, okay. Now we got a student going to detention. Who's that gonna be? Gianni. I think it should be Chad. I agree. Chad. Chad, oh man, our eighth grader. Closest in detention, and he goes. This is how you know Chad is a good dude, because he got sent to detention and the audience started booing. So, Chad, well done, man. You got to stay in detention, though. You're out of this one. Students, we move over to you guys. Pass or play on space? Play. We're going to play. Here we go. How many of the eight planets in our solar system have rings? One. One. Incorrect, guys. We're looking for four, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. That wrong That's answer amazing. is going to end either one of you into detention. Who's that going to be? Teachers. Jeremy. Jeremy. Leaving Amira to herself. Oh, no. I love you. Okay, and the game continues on here. Teachers, you're holding the three-person strong fast right now. Let's see if you can do it here. Category is geography. Pass, pass, pass. <laughs> pass, please. We're gonna pass. They're not loving geography. Amir, you got this right here. Which U.S. state is the only one to be bordered by two oceans? Pass, pass. <laughs> Six months. You can't, you can't pass can't back. You need an answer. What U.S. Okay. state? Um. Oh, could not get it done in time. Amirat, the answer was Alaska. We have to send you to detention. You're with your Chad and Gianni. And teachers, sweep the round, gets them the 30-point lead. Now, don't go anywhere because some of our contestants are going to the all-important study hall when we come back. It's the students and teachers from Kramer Hill Upper Elementary Mastery Schools of Camden. What's up? What's wrong we're gonna do? What's wrong we're gonna do? What's wrong we're gonna do? Choo-choo! Oh! Whoa! Okay. I am loving that. The scores are fire. These people are fire. I guys, I want to come to your school. I gotta say, but the show, we gotta continue. Study hall, Got we have to go to next. Okay, here's how the game will work. Each team will select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those two players are gonna have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm gonna ask three questions about that photo, one at a time. Both players will have five seconds to write down their answers to each question on a chalkboard. When time is up, guys, both players are gonna reveal their answers, and each correct answer is worth 10 points. Okay, the score is 70-40. You guys look across, a lot of strategy here. Who are you sending into study hall? Okay, both sides have looked. The teachers, we're going to start with you. Who was going? We're going to send Amira to study hall. Amira, and before you go, who do you want to face? Miss Love. Miss Love, let's go, Amira. Miss Love to study hall. Okay, you guys comfortable? There's no writing quite yet. I'm going to show you the picture first. You're going to have 10 seconds to study it. You guys ready? Right there. Good luck, everybody at home. Play along. Let's see how well you do. Okay, picture down. That was a fantastic picture. I don't even got them. I love that. Grandpa. Five seconds to write down your answers, guys. Correct answer here. Be worth 10 points. Good luck. Question one. What green vegetable is the woman holding? Question one. Both sides are deep and right. Don't worry about spelling. Here we go. Let's hold them up. Miss Love, Merit, both <laughs> said broccoli. What's the right answer? Broccoli is right. There you go. Okay, we stay perfect. Change your board to the next one, and I give you this question. How many tomatoes is the man holding? Let's reveal our answers. We have 
two and two. The right answer, two tomatoes. Yeah. Old Grandpa, he's making salsa. Here's your final question right here. Can you guys stay perfect? What color is the woman's shirt? Okay, let's reveal our answers. Miss Love, you said red. Mary, you said orange. The right answer, it was red. Wow. Wow. Both sides are on fire here. Teachers up to 100 points. Students, you guys are up to 60. Now, before we go to break, I'm going to put more points on the line. Who wants some extra credit? All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question here. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their correct answer. Get it right? It's 10 points. Let's see how well you do with this question. What color is the well-known pirate flag called the Jolly Roger, which features a white skull and crossbones on it? Okay, do you know the answer at home? The Jolly Roger, the flag, put it all together. Hold your answer right here, and I'll see you when we come back. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Kramer Hill Upper Elementary in Camden County. The score is teacher. Slight lead, 100 points for you. Students, 60 on the board. You're playing a great game. And before we went to break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. What color is the well-known pirate flag called the Jolly Roger, which features a white skull and crossbones on it? We're going to start over here. Johnny, what would you say? We're going to go with black. That's going to get you 10, up to 70 little extra credit. Who doesn't love extra credit? Teachers, you love to give it, but you get it right now? We went with black. Black as well. Okay, 110 to 70. Now, on the line today is just bragging rights, and we're going to get there. But $500, if you guys win that, where's that going to go, Johnny? Uh, we're going to buy our 8th grade class hoodies. Oh, what? So some serious swag then. Because mm -hmm. you know half of going to school is looking good, right? So you're going to do that, uh, and that, I hope that you guys win it. And those students, I'm sure, are pulling for you at home right now, too. Teachers, how about you? Last-minute decision. We decided to go with two of our mentoring programs combined the money, uh, Ladies of Excellence yeah. and Men of Honor. That's All right, six, seven, and eighth graders. Again, going right back to the kids. I love that, guys. All right, well, good luck. I'll tell you, Mrs. Wilson, i got to ask you, though, where is this energy coming from? This school is, like, on another level when it comes to spirit. It's on another level because we love our kids on another level. That right? is what I'm talking about. Hey, do. if the teachers love the kids as much, that's what it is right there. I'll tell you what. I love both sides enough that I'm taking you guys on a special field trip. Your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Oh man, today we're taking a field trip to an unbelievable location. It's the Penn Museum. Fox 29 meteorologist Kathy Orr is asking the questions today. And the Penn Museum is incredible if you've ever been there. So I cannot wait to see what we get into. Kathy, welcome to the show. Hey guys, we are here in the Rome Gallery. Ancient Rome. Have you been here at the Penn Museum? It is awesome. You have to come down and check it out. Here's question number one. What overall term is used for professional warriors who fought in arenas for entertainment purposes in ancient Rome? First one in, Mr. Newell. Gladiators. Gladiators is right. There you go. Gets you up to 120. Nicely done for you. You must love a little gladiators. I'll tell you what, he's got the bicep to be one. Look at the size of those pups. These guys been working out all season. Okay, we moved to question two with Kathy. Let's do it. Now for question number two. I think you got this one. What video game franchise released a 2017 installment entitled Origins, which features Roman ruler Julius Caesar as an important character along with Bayek and Aya? Buzzer, stay silent here. Mr. Newell, I'll take a chance. Is this Zelda? Incorrect. Students, you got a free guess here if you'd like it. Assassin's Creed. Buzzing if you know it. <laughs> Chad, you got in under the bell? Assassin's Creed. That's exactly right, Assassin's Creed. Chad, coming out of nowhere. I guess it right. I love it. 
Chad, I love you. This is fantastic. You just keep doing whatever Chad's doing right now. All right, Kathy Orr, you got one more question over there, and we're talking ancient Rome. Let's see what we do. We are still here in the Rome Gallery for question number three. Here it goes. What is the term used for the man-made channels first built by the ancient Romans in 312 BC to deliver fresh water to cities and towns? All the buzzers were flying there. I think every single hand was going, but Mr. Newell, you were first. <laughs> Aqueducts. Aqueducts is right. I think everybody had that one. They wanted it, but he was the first one on the buzzer. That gets you guys to 130. Students 80. A big thanks to Kathy Orr for leading our field trip today. Guys, we're looking at these scores. Everybody is playing a great game right now. That has been a fantastic 30 minutes, but we are time to wrap this thing. And you know what that means when it comes to the end of the semester. We're wrapping it up with a final exam. Oh, man, it comes down to this. The top of today's final exam is same name. That means each question is about one word that has different meanings. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer teams, you guys get right. I'm going to add 100 points to your score, possible 300 points still up for grabs. Guys, that's a lot of points left. This is anybody's game as we get into it. Now, you're going to write down your questions during the commercial break. But first, I'm going to give you them. Let's hear these questions. Question one, final exam, same name. What adjective that describes unkind people is also the mathematical name for the average in a set of numbers? Same name. Question two. Gene is both a basic unit of heredity and the name of an expressive yellow character trying to be normal with the help of a hacker named Jailbreak in what 2017 movie? Finally, guys, this one's going to sum it all up here. What position in baseball shares a name with an object used to hold and pour liquids that has a spout on one side and a handle on the other? The students are here. Right now they have 80 points on the board. They're eighth graders that are hailing from one of the most spirited schools we've ever had on the classroom. And our teachers, they taught them everything they know. But can the students come from behind and win this thing? I'm putting 60 seconds on the clock. We're going to find out. You guys go to break. When you come back, we're crowning a champion on the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. students and teachers from Kramer Hill Upper Elementary Mastery Schools of Cannon going head to head. You think the scores are tight right now? 130 teachers, students, one, or excuse me, 80 for you guys. This is anybody's game. And I have 300 points left to be won in the final exam. Now, before we went to break, I gave you guys the topic. The students, you guys immediately started smiling. I think you liked the topic today, which is same name. Right, you guys felt good, Chad, and the good to see you. You're still smiling right now. That actually hasn't left, even with all those commercials. Now, three questions separate somebody from getting crowned champion of the classroom. Let's play, everybody. Here we go. Question number one. What adjective that describes unkind people is also the mathematical name for the average in a set of numbers? And look at that. We're going to start with Chad. I put mean. Mean is right. Gets you to 180. Okay, students are now in the lead. Mrs. Wilson. We went with mean as well. Mean as well. Take the lead back to 2.30. One thing I can tell you, Mrs. Wilson, is not as mean. So there you go, right? <laughs> Question two. Gene is both a basic unit of heredity and the name of an expressive yellow character trying to be normal with the help of a hacker named Jailbreak in what? 2017 movie. Miss Love, do you watch a lot of movies? Yes. <laughs> Did you see very many in 2017? Yes. Did you get this right? You said... Emotions. Incorrect. That leaves the door wide open for these students to walk in and grab the lead outright. Amira? I chose the Emoji Movie. Emoji Movie is right, and now we got a game. Students have flipped the script and are 
back into the lead. Now look, you guys, the hoodies are on the line here, and it's coming down to our final question. Is it gonna go to your charity over here, or are the students getting some new swag and looking real good in the hallways? What position in baseball shares a name with an object used to hold and pour liquids that has a spout on one side and a handle on the other? Teachers, you're down some points right now. You got to get this right or the game is officially over and the students are walking away champions. But if you get this right, we continue. So, Mr. Newell, you said pitcher. Pitcher is right. There you go. Get to the 3.30. And here we go. It comes down to this. You guys get it right. Get ready, school, because everyone's getting some brand new swag, courtesy of these three right here. Are you ready to do this? Let's show your answer. You said...